Welcome back to today's uh, video program, right? So today is the second day of the Lunar New Year. Uh, of course, officially, we are celebrating our Lunar New Year in the Year of the Tiger. Because strictly speaking, we have not entered the Rabbit Year yet. Uh, simply because uh, the Rabbit Year only comes in at around 4th of February, 10.44 a.m. Right. So since today is, we are still in January, so therefore we are celebrating this year, Lunar New Year in the Year of the Tiger. Okay, now I know that uh, earlier I have published one uh, video on uh, Zodiac and why I have chosen not to speak about Zodiac or make prediction for Zodiac simply because I believe as a practitioner or party, uh, this is zodiac reading is just for purely for entertainment. It is of not much of a use, simply because uh, the reasons that I have given in the first video. So, if you have not watched the first video, I would advise you to take a pause now, watch the first video on zodiac first, and then you come back to this video. Okay, so for those of you who have watched the first video, okay, now let me let me show you something. Let me elaborate a little bit more with some examples uh, uh, about this zodiac thing. Okay, okay, now now let's see if you can see from here. Okay, let me let me do this a uh, little bit of illustration here. Okay, let me go back a little bit. All right, let me put on the laser pointer. Okay. Now you can see that uh, on the screen here, uh, this is the zodiac sign. Why? Because every one of us has a date of birth. So we are born on a specific year, specific month, specific day, and a specific hour, right? So there are four information to our birth. But zodiac only concern the year of birth. Right, year above, as you can see here, this whole thing here, right? You know, my pointer here, year above. Now, I have uh, found these two on the internet, uh, these two party of both are male, and so happen uh, they are born on the same year, right? So they're born in the Ting Si year. So Ting Si is Ting is actually fire, Si is actually snake, so it's actually a fire snake year, right? See, both of them, whether uh, gentleman A and gentleman B, they are both born in the Ting Si year. Right. Now, if you look at that, they have the same zodiac. But will they have the same fate in the year of the water rabbit that is coming, right? Water rabbit is coming on uh, February the 4th, right? <laughs> so, 2023. So, the question is, will they have the same fate? If you read according to the zodiac, definitely they will have similar fate. Because either the zodiac will say that, uh, how the snake people will fare in a rabbit year is a very general one size fits all uh, kind of reading. But if you want to go in a little bit more detail uh, using uh, Pa'atze astrology, as you can see, this, this chart belongs to Pa'atze astrology. Of course, I don't have the hour information. Uh, it's okay. For this purpose, I can just illustrate with three information, right? Now, normally, we have the hour pillar at the, at the side here, but uh, in this case, I don't have it. So it's okay, no worries, we can still illustrate the concept. Now, before I proceed a little bit, let me, let me share with you something first. Okay, before I proceed further, <laughs> uh, let, me, let me clarify certain things first, okay? Now, um, this is a party astrology chart, uh, because I'm a party astro practitioner, right? And we usually have an hour, day, month, and year pillars. So, but for the purpose of illustration today, we only have these three information, day, month, and year. But I believe it's enough, it's adequate for me to illustrate the purpose to you. Now, I know some of the people who are watching this video may have studied from some party school somewhere. And some of you may have zero knowledge on party. So, if you worry that you cannot follow the logic, it's okay. Try not to understand the technicalities that I'm telling you. Because if you have not learned it, it's not so easy, right? But at least you can follow the logic behind what I'm trying to say. I think that is more important and meaningful for you huh? as a person with a zero knowledge in party. So here's a typical chart and 
of two gentlemen born with the same zodiac pillar, Ting Si, right? A fire snake. And, and so the question is that if they go through the same year, which is next year, Kui Mao year, water rabbit, uh, Kui Mao, uh, water rabbit year, will they have the same fate? <laughs> so what does the Ba Zi say about it? Uh, if you read purely by Zodiac, definitely they will have very similar fate, right? But in Ba Zi, that will be different. Why? Okay. Reason number one. You see this thing here? This so-called, this luck thing. You see, uh, this person is going through a different luck. A gentleman A is going through a Ren Ying luck cycle, which started around 2015, right? Uh, so it will last for 10 years. Uh, so it will go, it will end around 202526, right? Whereas gentleman B just started a new luck cycle here in 2021. So it will last another 10 years up to 2031, roughly, right? Now, this person, you see that the Chinese characters here in the both pillars are different. <laughs> of course, this is a uh, Wu Sun, right? The Earth Monkey, uh, Wu Sun. Wu Sun pillar, this is a Ning pillar. So they have different luck cycle. Now, this is the first difference. You may be born in the same year. You may have the same zodiac sign. But you may not go through the same luck cycle. Uh, this is the beauty of Pachi. That is why Pachi is far more meaningful and accurate compared to Zodiac reading. Because Zodiac does not have the information of the luck. And this luck thing is very important to you. Why? If you have you're familiar with the Chinese culture, Chinese always say what? First is destiny. Destiny is coming from this 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 chart here. This three p these four pillars actually belongs to destiny. Number two, most important is what luck cycle. Luck cycle comes here, right? Third only feng shui. Feng shui only comes in third most important. So you can see uh, a person's success and failure in life. Uh, much of it uh, lies within this this chart here, right? Uh, that is the whole idea of studying. Barter astrology is to know whether you are going through good luck or are you going through bad luck. So then you can make more meaningful information about the future undertakings that you're going to do, right? If you are in a bad luck, you try to so and be more careful. If you are in good luck, take a little bit more risk. It's worth it, right? It's worth it. So the question is, do you know are you, are you in good luck or in bad luck? Now the thing is that many people don't know, right? And of course there are Pazi, within Pazi there are many schools of Pazi. Like for us, out of destiny, we use the nature's way of Pazi. But other schools, they may use different like Ziping, they use uh, blind man sack. So there are many, many schools of Pazi. Okay, so I'm only illustrating here based on the theory of nature's way of Pazi. Okay, now, so. So that's the first difference, right? First difference I'll talk about. Now, second difference. We have the year same. Both we have the born in the same year. But we have born in different months. Now, for example, this person is born in the Peng Wu month, right? Whereas gentleman B born in the Hui Chou month. Now, now then you might ask me, hey, how can how is that different between gentleman A and B? Of course, there is a difference. But if you look at it, this green box here illustrates the season. So one person, gentleman B, is born in the winter season. Whereas gentleman A, born in the summer season. Of course, it's different, right? Summer is hot, winter is cold. So that is the, another big difference within the two charts. Now, the third factor that will influence is the day master what we call the day master here you see this this little uh box here highlighted in orange color right now gentleman a is a koi day master koi is represented like a rain no? like a rain like a cloud whereas gentleman b is represented by the run run is like uh, the sea or a very big lake sea water right so this big water this is soft water so a is soft water B is seawater, so very strong water. So the question is, you see, 
each pillar brings a new layer of information to our destiny. So with a different month above and a different day above, you can already see even you don't understand the Chinese characters, you don't understand the technicalities of party. But you look at the, 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 the image, it's totally a different image, right? So one is summer, one is winter. I believe you can imagine that, especially those of you who live in a country that has four seasons, right? Yeah, definitely, you know. The, the, the major difference, right? It's so hot in summer and dry and in winter, it's so cold, right? Yeah. So this one, I don't need to further illustrate now. So part two, part two. First, we say that the luck is different. Number two, you see there are two different information. One is the season is different. The other one, the type of personality of the person, the primary personality of the person is also different. So when you see the difference here, how would this year of the water rabbit Kui Mao react into this chart? Will tell you the outcome of this person in 2023. So the question is, who will fare better in 2023 and why? Okay, so I'm going to share this with you. Okay, now to do that, for oh, just a minute, let me check it out. Okay, now let me change this to my pen. Okay, my pen here. Okay, I change this to a pen. Now let's start with gentleman A. Okay, gentleman A is a koi, and next year you see the same element, the same shape, right? You see the same character, the element of koi is coming. Now this person is born in summer, and summer when you see the water coming, the water will clash into the this one, right? It will clash into the, the fire here. So this fire actually represents uh, many things uh, in, in party. Then it represents many things. It can mean it can mean health. It can mean money and and many things, right? Now, the thing is this: this clashing will it bring detrimental effect to gentleman A? So the answer to you is less, very small impact. There is but small impact, and the coming of this wood element. Uh, Mao, actually the rabbit belongs to the wood element. The wood element will fill in more fire. So actually, this person will have more money opportunity uh, this year. But the question is, can he reap fully, full advantage, full advantage of his uh, money opportunities that come this year? Uh, there will be some resistance, but it's more, right? So this person will generally still do well in the year of 2023. Well, a bit of limping, but not too bad. Okay, not too bad. Now, uh, of course, uh, gentleman B will be a bit different because this water element is also a water element. This is yang water, right? So yang water, this is yin water. So in the study of party, this is known as the titoi. Titoi means rob the wealth. Okay, so that will be a rob of wealth person coming to rob this money of his, right? This is also a, a money element for this uh, gentleman B, right? Now, though that this gentleman B too have wood element to fill the fire, unfortunately, the impact on this uh, gentleman B from this uh, rob the wealth is stronger. It's very, very much stronger. So therefore, it generally means that this person will have more or larger obstacle. He has to put in a lot, a lot of effort, but can only reap very small result next year. So it's a year that this person needs a lot of patience, right? A lot of patience and basically take good care of the health. Uh, this is this is the main main thing, right? Uh, so for gentleman B, so you can see even from a very simple analysis, uh, you can see that. Gentleman A and B will definitely go through different paths in the year of the water rabbit. Gentleman A will generally fare better than Gentleman B. And Gentleman B may meet some uh, very uh, big setbacks, uh, especially in the month of November, uh, when the, 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 the month effect that pulls in uh, adds on to the uh, detrimental effect. So it can affect him in many ways, uh, from health to 
to wealth, to his career, and even to some extent, uh, his uh, marriage. So this can affect this person quite badly in the year of 2023 compared to Gentleman A. So Gentleman A will still have a better, better, a smoother journey in 2023. So you can see that because of these many variations uh, in the destiny chart, the outcome from a single year to different people, even they have the same zodiac sign, will also be different. So again, you can see that if we talk about four pillars, right? Year, month, day, and hour, then if you look at zodiac, you basically look at the year. And the year is only one of the four, meaning 25%. So 25% information, now how true is that? I don't know. So I don't know, I, should I be happy if the Zodiac says that rabbit gear will be good for me? I don't know if I should be happy or not because it may turn out to be the exact opposite, right? Or should I be sad if it's saying that it's going to be a bad year for my Zodiac sign? Because it may turn out to be good because the other factors that we have just mentioned uh, just now may turn the table around and turn out to be an extremely uh, extraordinary year for me, right? So at the end of the day, you ask yourself, if you want to make an important decision, are you going to base on 25% accuracy or are you going to take the full effect of your party chart and make a more detailed analysis and in fact, a more accurate analysis? So that, I leave it to you, right? So that's all for today. Uh, just I hope my sharing has helped you understand a little bit better uh, what what do you do with the zodiac sign or zodiac reading? So to me, it's purely entertainment. So if for the auntie uncle, you just want to have some fun, fine. But if you are a serious decision maker, then uh, I would caution you against purely basing on zodiac to make important decisions. Okay. So for those of you who wants to learn party, you can go to our website at partyconsult.com. Uh, we have courses from time to time, which if you are interested to learn up and help yourself. This is a very good uh, skill for you to learn and because it's going to be used during your lifeline. Okay, so if you enjoy the, the presentation, I uh, hope you give us support by giving a little like. Maybe you would like to subscribe to our channel so that you can get a new up automatic updates from our next uh, video. And if you find this uh, meaningful, maybe share with your friends. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. Bye-bye.